Search is on to find the shooter accused of ambushing and killing a Harris County Sheriff's deputy in Northeast Harris County. Investigators say this started after an assault at a pizza shop. Brittany Jeffers joins us live near that shop with the latest information. Yeah, Haley, and within the last 10 minutes, we have learned from Harris County Sheriff uh, uh, Ed Gonzalez the name, and uh, he has also released a photo of that deputy that was tragically killed. You're looking at this photo right here. If you can see, again, we just received this. Deputy Fernando Escueda. We are told that he was a veteran with the Harris County Sheriff's Office for five years serving on the Violent Crimes Task Force. Uh, I also reached out to the sheriff to ask if there would be any updates as far as news briefings are concerned. He said at this point that is not planned and he said that there is not a suspect in custody at this point. But I want to bring you back to the beginning of how all of this happened, how things transpired and it started with a call to this Little Caesars Pizza and that is when a clerk said that they were assaulted and pistol whipped by a suspect. That suspect then accused of later shooting and killing the deputy. Now, this has been very traumatic, very tense for nearby neighborhoods where the search for the shooter continues. I spoke with one of those residents nearby who explained what he saw last night. They're actively looking for this person in your neighborhood. Yes. How are you? Uh, I mean, uh, not good because my family's in there, so. What, know, what are so. they saying? Well, my daughter was a little worried. She's, she's 13 years old, and she, she wanted my dad to take her to my brother's house. And my, my dad, like, you know, I can't take you nowhere. He's like, don't worry about it. I, I'll take care of you. Nothing's going to happen. So investigators again say following the hurricane, detectives had undercover officers and deputies who were trying to help with patrol in the area to try to prevent looting. That's what was going on when that call came in from the clerk at Little Caesars. Again, they reported being assaulted and pistol whipped by that suspect because he was upset about his order. The employee identified the getaway car though and detectives ran the license plate. They found it in an area. They went to the area where that car may be and the sheriff's says that the deputy uh, is the one who found that vehicle when he made a call to his co-workers. That is when he was reportedly ambushed. Now, investigators say Deputy Escueta was uh, shot several times. He was transported to LBJ where he later died for from his injuries. And again, uh, different locations were set up trying to find that suspect. There is surveillance video. We have our high tech uh, crimes uh, experts out at the scene processing the video. Uh, I think it'll be very helpful in the investigation. I feel very confident, like I said, in the investigation and our ability to find this suspect in a very timely manner. Uh, if the suspect happens to see this, he needs to do the right thing and turn himself in. Now, of course, the focus today is in grieving and honoring the life of Deputy Fernando Escueda. Again, this is the photo that we have just received into our newsroom released by Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez. Again, he tells us that the deputy was a five year veteran with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. The sheriff offering his condolences to the deputy's family members. Again, this is still an active search for that gunman and we will continue to check in with Sheriff's Office uh, for any potential updates here. Haley. All right, thank you, Brittany.